tubers. So I will be showing you how to spoof the Wi-Fi MAC address of your iPod Touch. And this is a fourth generation iPod Touch, and it's running uh, the software version iOS 6.1.6. Can check that over here in the general settings in the about uh, option menu in the general thing. Uh, you can see that it's a 6.1.6. And before doing anything, please note down your Wi-Fi Wi-Fi address, which you can find it over here. Uh, go to settings and then go to settings and then go to general and then go to about. When you go to that, you'll be finding the current MAC address of your device. Please note that down. Uh, yeah, if anything goes wrong, I can actually to come back to this MAC address. You need to remember this thing. So note this, note this MAC address, which is 5C5 and all that, that. Okay. Before starting the process, there are some things which you, which you need to know. First of all, yeah, your iPod must be jailbroken. That's the main thing. And then you need to install two. Mm, two extra CDM packages. I'll be showing you those things. Go to CDM. Yeah, go to CDM. Yeah, it will be loading to take time. Yeah, let it load. There are two things which you need to install. One is called mobile terminal, and the other is called network network hyphen commands. It's N E T W O R K hyphen comma C M D S. It is loading. Yep. Still. Yeah. Search for N. Yeah, you can see that's the thing. Network hyphen commands SCMDS. Go to that and click. Uh, you'll be you'll be getting an option over here to install it. I already installed it. If for you guys to install, you need to click that and then click install. Once you are done with that installation, you need to install some other app called Mobile Terminal. Yeah, it's actually a terminal terminal emulator for your iOS device. So search for mobile. Yeah, you need to install these two things. Once you're done with the installation, you have to remember your original MAC address. Then, let's start the process. Yeah, go to the terminal. Yeah, open terminal. Once it's loaded, it'll be showing you this thing. Need to give the command. I'll be writing the uh, command which are, need, which are needed in the description below for the ease, ac ease of access. You yeah, need to go into the super user mode. You need to enter su for that, and then give the written thing. Yeah, it will ask you for the password. The password is a l p i n e. If you haven't changed the root password, it is uh, the default one is a l p i n e, and then click return. Yeah, as you can see now it's in root mode. Yeah, so you're in the super user mode right now. So now you need to give the command call five NV RAM non root RAM space Wi-Fi address that is Wi-Fi ADDR equals and then in the inverted commas you need to give the address which you want to change your MAC address into. So let's start that. If ADDR is equal to and then in the inverted and then give the inverted comma give the com uh, give the uh, Wi-Fi for example I'll be giving you some random Wi-Fi address uh, Wi-Fi MAC address of no 56 colon 23 colon 45 colon 55 
Colin is is some random thing just for the demonstration. Yeah, that's the thing I'm getting, that's 54, 23, 45, 55, 80, and 32, and then close the inverted commas, to open with and then give the return command. Uh, once you're done with that, you need to reboot your device, and then activate it. Yeah, I'll be, you can actually reboot it directly by pressing this uh, power button, and then switching it off, and then restarting it. I'll be using SB settings to do that. Yeah, it's almost done. It's switching on. Now you need to activate your iPod by connecting it to Wi Fi. Uh, to do that, which process. Yeah, as you can see now, if you check, if you go to settings and then go to uh, go to general and then go to about and check for the wife address, it's the address which I had given in the command which earlier. My previous thing is like uh, some other uh, some other value, and now it's the spoof value. Yeah, that's it, people. If you like this video or if it has helped you, please give a thumbs up or the like button, which is under the video. And if you want to get any of my future updates on your wall, YouTube wall, please do subscribe. Thanks for watching, and once this one see, and signing off. Bye.